Today, I built the world's largest Rubik's Cube in Minecraft. This took over 10 hours to design and build, so if you want to see the final result, watch to the end of the video. Well, before we build the giant Rubik's Cube, we're gonna go get an elytra so we can fly around much, much easier. So let's just throw the ender pearl. Oh dang, I actually spawned right in front of it. That's actually insane. Let's just, there's no end city ship though, so I'm actually just gonna loot this instead. That's the first end city looted. It only had one chest, which made me sad, but we're just gonna go find a second one. Ooh, there's a second one. Does this one have a ship? Yes, it does. Let's go. Alright, let's loot this thing. Okay, now let's grab the dragon head. Bro, are you actually kidding me? It actually fell down, dude. Bruh. Let's just grab the elytra and get out of here, man. Okay, now I have the elytra, now let's fly out, and we can start collecting all the dyes that we need. Alright, so what we have to do is we have to take all these dyes and transform them into their concrete variants, so we can build this giant Rubik's Cube. So let's just start collecting dyes. There's yellow, and blue, and red. Oh, we can also make orange from this too. That's great, now we just need a couple more. There's white. Finally, I found a desert. So now there's green, and that's all the colors. Now let's head to the stronghold. Okay, now we're at the stronghold, so now we can make our own colors. We already have black and yellow, which we will be needing. So now let's make the rest of the colors. Okay, then that's all of them. Then I guess we'll just AFK for a few, for like an hour. And I will see y'all later. Alright, it's been about an hour and I've AFK'd with almost all of the colors. So now we just gotta turn this all into concrete. Let's pick up all these shulker boxes and get right to it. But first, I have to explain something. So, why am I building this? Why do I want to build this giant thing? I just think it would be a fun project to do. I also have a really big video coming up soon, so just wait for that. Anyways, back to the video. Alright, I've I've spent about two hours placing all of this concrete down. There is literally so much I have to mine here. Alright, in three, two, one, BAM! Was that good? I hope that was good. Alright, so I have all the shulker boxes full of all the materials I need. Now let's go find a spot to build this thing. This mountain looks good. I think I'll do some terraforming and then I'll start on the project. And that's all the terraforming done. Now we can start building this thing. Okay, I've got all my materials down. Now we're gonna start with a black outline, making the whole outline of the cube so we can start placing all the colors in. This is how big one side is gonna be. So now we can start going up and making the little squares in between. And I'm making it so each little square holds one stack of each color. So I have nine stacks of each color for each side. And that is the entire bottom grid done. Now we can start working on all four of the walls. One, two, three, four. Uh, and, oh, okay, I'm at the ceiling, okay. And that is the entire first wall done. Now let's finish the rest. Wow, I just realized how big this thing is gonna be, man. What the heck? And with that, side two is complete. Three and four are also done now. Now we can start working on the colors. The first color I'm gonna start with is gonna be yellow, and that's gonna be the floor. So let's just get straight to it. The amount I'm gonna have to place for this is gonna be insane, man. This is gonna be so much.
is yellow fully complete. Oh, I forgot to do the ceiling. I guess I'll start with that next. Okay, the ceiling is done. Now we're gonna start with the next color being white on top and yellow on the bottom. Boom! That is all of the white complete. And I just realized after we put in all of the walls, we won't even be able to see the yellow. So anyways, the first wall we're gonna be starting is red and uh, I don't know, let's just start it. So doing a wall takes like two times as long as doing one of the floors or the ceiling. So this is gonna take a long while, but now we have red done. So next we're gonna work on blue. This is all the blue, and it's exactly enough to fill the whole thing in, so thank goodness I didn't grab two least, so... Two, two least? Two least. Whatever. Let's just go. One column for blue done. Okay, let's start on the second column. Oh, bro! I totally forgot mobs were gonna spawn here. I need to light up this place. And that should be the last torch, so now we can finally get back to working on the second column. Second column for blue done, and third column for blue fully finished. And it's raining now, so I can fly around and see how this looks from the sky. Oh, all right, all right, now let's fly around. Holy smokes, dude, this is huge, dude. What? Oh my gosh, this is gonna look so good when it's done. All right, the next color I'm gonna do is green. I'm also gonna stay up and not go to sleep, so hopefully it's still raining by the time I fully finish this, so I can fly around and get a cool shot at the end. Took like 20 minutes, but now I have the full green side done, and now there's only one side left to do, and that is the orange side. So let's grab all of the concrete we need, and let's just get building, man. And here's all the concrete. And it's been about 30 minutes, but now the entire queue is fully complete. It did stop raining though, which did make me sad, so it's fine. And this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, watch another.